Girls High School Basketball Season Preview Show being brought to you by MRV Sighting Supply. I'm Matt Coy inside the Perry Reese Junior Community Center, of course, for the Highland Lady Hawks as we kick off this Girls High School Basketball Season last year, coming off the 17-8 campaign. And, of course, they went 11-1 in the IVC South Division to capture a share of the IVC South Division title with Tuskegee Valley, and they fell to Fort Fry in the Division Three District Championship game a season ago. Of course, key losses from graduates from last year, Ayla Miller, the University of Akron commit, now a freshman for the Zips Women's Basketball Program, and also from last year, Jenna Troyer, as well as Tegan Harris, but key returnees to this year's Highland team. Of course, junior point guard and Ashley Mullet, Mallory Stutzman back once again this year. We'll talk more about her and her status, and also other players like Claudia Troyer, Ellie Haberger, and Abby Miller, all part of this year's Highland basketball team. Alongside first-year head coach for the Highland Lady Hawks basketball program, that is Brady Schlabel. And Brady, alongside right now, and Brady, what's it like kind of taking over this Highland basketball program? It's been crazy. It's been a fun, fun off season. Um, you know, I've got a pretty good playbook to go by here, which is, which has been nice. Got a pretty good mentor. Um, so, yeah, it's been exciting. Great group of girls. Love to work. So it's been fun. Pretty good morning mentor, that being your father, of course, Dave Schlabel, the longtime legendary head coach here for Highland. What's it been like, just that dynamic, getting a chance to the coach with your, with your father some? Yeah, it's been good. He kind of gives me, you know, what he's always done, and then I can kind of add my own twist or, you know, scratch that completely, and, and, and he's got no problem with that. So it's been fun kind of going back and forth. Yeah, I wonder about that. Obviously, you're dynamic with with your dad, Dave, but also the fact that uh, you think about uh, Mark Schlabel and also with with your family uh, connection there, and just being a Highland basketball basketball player how did you kind of mix that in just being that the Highland basketball way I guess that you know so yeah. well here for Highland for sure I think there's a lot of things that you learn in the Highland basketball whether it's guys or girls programs um, you know playing for my uncle was awesome had a chance to, to be a point guard for him and you know you can kind of, you kind of learn how to see the floor how, how to um, manage the team stuff like that so I feel like that um, can hopefully translate a little bit to the to what we do this year we mentioned this year. Let's talk about this year's team. Give us kind of a bit of an outlet to meet some players to, to look for mm -hmm. for this year's Highland girls basketball team. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously, like you said, Ashley Mullet's coming back. She, she's been she's been a leader for us this off season, kind of an extension of a coach onto the floor. So um, you, you always love having those those point guards and those people that you can trust. And uh, we're excited to see what she can do this year. Um, and then, like you said, Mallory as well. Whenever um, we, we get her back, we'll, I'm sure she'll be a big big impact to us as well. No question about that. I know Joplin Yoder, a player that got a lot of uh, key uh, contributions in playing time last year as well. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, all of our girls have put in a tremendous amount of time in the in the off season. So I, I think we, we're going to have a lot of ups and downs because we are very young. Um, and, and so how we manage those throughout the year is going to be important. And, um, yeah, I think we've got a chance to surprise some people or, you know, ho hopefully kind of stay stay up there. You mentioned Brady also, and we were talking about this uh, before the show, just that the, the key is kind of how you're playing later on in February and March, right? That's kind of what you want to build up to that point to be playing your best basketball at that time of year. Yeah, absolutely, and I, that's why we have always scheduled the non-conference that we do and get a chance to play against some people. You know, you don't get to play around here or teams that you don't get to play, so it's exciting for us to, to be in those games for sure. Tough non-conference schedule to talk about that. I know Laurel here your first game of the season. What are oh, some yeah. other maybe key games you're thinking of, some key opponents you'll be playing this year? Yeah, uh, I mean, we've got Northwest on Friday up in that Smithville Classic. The, they're good. They're post players going Division One, so that'll be a good challenge for us and then you know at the classic convoy crestview was in the division four state uh semis last year and uh, midview's a, a top five team in division one at the classic as well and then obviously you got wayne dale who's who's really good and uh, we, we had a chance to get in the gym with them this summer and so we're looking forward to that and then obviously the, the end of the year west holmes that that'll be a fun game as well it certainly will be a lot of fun here with that holmes caddy matchup and before you kind of wrap up here i know we're a ways off now but the classic of the country again mm -hmm. and i'll be back once again here at highland that should be exciting once again here at the, the, the Perry Reese Junior Community Center. Yeah, I, I think that's got a chance to be one of the best classics ever. Um, that, that Saturday slate of Waynedale, Jackson, Northwest, Sheridan, and then, you know, West Holmes playing right before we play Saturday night. And uh, the, the Monday games are going to be some of the best players that have ever played here. So it uh, should, should be a fun weekend. Hopefully, you know, fingers crossed the snow stays away. But, <laughs> uh, you know, it, it is what it is. All right, Brady, thanks for your time. Appreciate it, Matt. And I'm joined by Highland Junior Point Guard. That is Ashley Mullet alongside me right now. And Ashley, now a junior for this Highland basketball program. Talk about just your, your role now as a junior and how you can maybe take it on more of that leadership role here for this Highland team this year. 
Um, yes, I definitely feel like I've taken on more of a leadership role this year, especially we only have two seniors this year, and I mean, they've taken on great leadership roles too, but I think it's really important, like me and a couple of the other juniors too, just stepping up this year. Now, Ashley, going back to the off season during the summer, now during the preseason, again, she has to compete with this program, with these uh, the, these players here. Can you talk, take us through a little bit of that there, what you've been able to experience so far playing with this group during, during the off season, I guess? Um, yeah, so we've just definitely grown a lot over the summer, and we've played a lot of people that are really good, a lot of teams that are really good, so that helps us also grow and get better, and playing people better than you always helps that, so that's what we've been trying to do. Now, I wonder if I've been playing for, for Brady Schleyball, Dave Schleyball, now back in the fold, helping coach for this program. Talk about just kind of playing for these guys so far uh, for your for your coaches. Um, it's awesome. Um, they know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly what to expect. And so it's a lot of experience, too, that's with it. So it's been really fun. Mitchell being a leader here this year, but how about on the floor? For you just as a player, what is maybe that, that next step you've tried to, to work on to be the next step as a basketball player on the floor that you've tried to do? Um, just making sure everybody knows where they're at all the time. If, like, knowing the time on the clock, whenever that is, that's kind of my job. And so I have to let everybody know that and communicate with everybody. Now, for you as a team here, the focus this year obviously is to win, of course. But what's the biggest focus as you go into this basketball season now as it gets set to begin? Um, I would say, especially, like, our communication on the floor, uh, that's a big focus, getting everybody on the same page. And we just want to win games, so that too. <laughs> All right, Ashley, thanks for your time. Thank you. Good luck to you this year. That's the voice of Ashley Mullet. Well, the West Hills Lady Knights coming off a terrific campaign last year, going 20-4 and last year, and finished up with their second consecutive OCC championship, going 11-1 in the OCC last year. They would fall in the Division II District Championship game, going down the John Lynn a season ago. Of course, uh, key losses as far as graduates are concerned from last year's team, being Kenzie Patterson, Melanie Fair, and Claire Reynolds, but also key returnees, the two McMillan girls back, of course, for this year's West Hills basketball program, that being Allie McMillan, the junior point guard, and senior forward, and Ella McMillan as well. Also, Keegan Ole, another guard that's being back this year. Avion Yoder also back and Neely Fair all back for this year's West Holmes girls basketball program and certainly high expectations again for the Lady Knights. So let's go out this time to West Holmes to Jake Seidel who's alongside West Holmes head basketball coach Lindsey Snyder. Thanks, Matt. Jake Seidel here with Lindsey Snyder, the West Holmes girls basketball coach. And, uh, Coach, starting off this season strong, you just had a, a big win uh, down at Dover to start your season. Tell us a little bit about that game. Yeah, we came out really strong. Um, I was impressed with how you know, we sometimes you come out first game, we've had five scrimmages, and we've been up and down in those scrimmages, but um, I thought we defended really well. We gave up eight points in the first half, um, and, and we had a lot of kids shoot the ball really well. I can't remember our shooting percentage, but um, shot it well, played really hard, um, and I think the kids had fun, and that's, that's what the goal is. Yeah, and you're able to get out and get things going relatively early, uh, and you, you just didn't look back, and uh, you, the McMillan sisters had, were a big part of that. Yeah, um, as I was sat in the game, it was there was a lot of A. McMillan, E. McMillan. Um, they played really well together, and, and they, f they feed off each other. Um, and then, you know, throw in there Keegan and Chloe and, and Aviana and, and some bench kids, too. Neely played a couple minutes for us, and we just really contributed um, with everybody. Everybody contributed, and, and that's what we want. Coach, coming off two uh, consecutive OCC titles uh, and a, a very strongly contested Ohio Cardinal Conference this year, what are you looking to get out of your girls? Yeah, I mean, obviously we're, we're looking to win the league again. Um, and last year we split with Worcester, and the girls are not happy about that. And so they want to um, win, you know, win the OCC outright and, and go undefeated in the league. And um, so Worcester is obviously a top contender. Um, but then you look at Mansell Sr., um, they, they're going to be really good again this year. Um, we beat them twice, but... Um, they have some really, really skilled kids, and, and I think they're going to put together a really good basketball team. Um, you know, and then New Philly is new to our league. Um, they they were a really good team last year. Um, and then, you know, Lexington's big. I, I, just, I don't think you're going to have a night anytime this year that, hey, we're just going to show up and expect to win. We're going to have to play well in every single OCC game this year. And, Coach, what's the biggest thing you're preaching to your players? I know early in the season you got one game under your belt so far. Uh, but what's the biggest thing you want your players to work on throughout the season? Um, I mean, West Holmes, we've always focused on defense um, and, and winning on the defensive end and, and letting offensive transition points come from getting steals, getting stops in the full court um, and in the half court. Um, but, 
this year, you know, we really focused, I thought, in the preseason a little bit more on some offensive concepts um, just because we know we have kids that can defend. We know we have kids that can get up in pressure. Um, and so we're trying to find new ways for, for our kids to score. Um, we have a lot of talented offensive kids and just trying to piece those parts together and, and get those kids in positions to make shots. Well, thanks for your time today, Coach, and good luck with the rest of your season. Thank you. Here with Allie and Ella McMillan, a senior and a junior on this West Holmes Knights uh, basketball team. And uh, Allie, we'll start with you real quick. A fantastic record-breaking season uh, on the pitch. Uh, what is it? How hard is it to transfer from soccer mode into basketball mode? I mean, it's always hard because soccer is my number one sport. But, I mean, I take a few days in between seasons, so I change my mindset, and I'm ready to go after that. And uh, both of you had fantastic seasons last year, uh, getting all conference honors. Uh, either of you, whoever wants to answer this first, what is the biggest thing you're looking forward to now? Um, I'm just looking forward to having my last like high school career be with like some of my best friends. Like everyone on the team is really close, and it's just really fun at practice games and even when we're not playing. And Ellie, you're coming off a, a great performance against Dover. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, that performance? Um, I just kind of put it in my mind that I was ready to go out and play. Like, that was my last first game as a West Holmes Knight. So I just wanted to perform and show what I've been working on on the offseason. And I'm sure you two are real competitive with, with each other, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I remember when we were kids playing 1v1s at home. Ella would always beat me. And, I mean, that's gotten me better as a player for sure. And I feel like one of my strengths as a player is my defense. So that's gotten her better offensively. And it just goes both ways. Ella, you mentioned this is, was your last first game as a West Holmes Knight, your senior season. Uh, what are you looking to accomplish uh, this season? Um, I'm just looking forward to like laying it all out there. Like I said, I've been working pretty hard in the off season, And I just want to be able to put like show what I've been working on. And Allie, same question. Yeah, I mean, I always practice with her sometimes during the off season, but I usually focus on soccer. But I'm just super excited to assist Ella here and have fun with my team. I'm ready to have a good season this year. And just one last question for you two. I know practice uh, is always a big thing, but which one of you pushes the rest of the team harder? Definitely Ella. She's a big leader on this team. I mean, she's captain this year. and. I know I personally look up to my older sister, and I know everyone else does around me, and it's just a lot of fun for her to be here with us. <laughs> I'm just yeah, I think both of us do a really good job. Like, when we have a bad practice, we're not going to be able to go into a game and play it at the best of our abilities. So we always have to be able to push each other, even if it's not, like, the most fun. But. Yep. Well, Ali Ella, thank you for your time, and good luck on the rest of your season. Yes, thank you. Thank you. We'll send it back to Matt Cruelly at Highland. All right, Jake, thank you. And once again, we'll have a full slate of basketball all season long here on WKLM. You can look at our basketball schedule. 66 regular season games will be broadcasting. Many of those will be video live streaming on YouTube, including the Classic in the Country. That's right, in mid-January here at Highland, we'll be video live streaming all the Classic in the Country games for the first time ever. So stay tuned for that as well. And again, you can find our broadcast schedule on the video stream right now, or you you can find it on our website on WKLMFM.com. And, of course, click on the On Air tab to find our broadcast schedule throughout the course of this basketball season. Now, to wrap things up for us, that's been this girls' basketball season preview show brought to you by MRV Sighting Supply.